Now, while the Kardashian wedding has been grabbing headlines this weekend, another couple in La La Land haven't escaped our attention. Meet 51-year-old actor Doug Hutchison and his 16-year-old bride, Courtney Stodden. While most girls her age are planning their sweet 16th, Courtney was preparing to tie the knot to a man 35 years her senior. There, if there's only one uh, caveat to our the ocean between our age difference, I wished I was a virgin when we met. <laughs> I, it's fine that he wasn't. He's pretty good. <laughs> Whatever. He's a tiger. Now, their union hasn't come without criticism. Some say it's a publicity stunt, as the pair reportedly are in talks to star in a new reality show about their controversial relationship. Oh, we'll get to the bottom of that. Courtney Stodden and her husband, Doug Hutchison, join us now. Hi, guys. Welcome to the morning show. Uh, hi, did you guys. ever hi, did you ever expect your us. marriage to receive I... this much attention? No. No, we didn't. No, we never <laughs> anticipated the world to, you know, uh, give us such a whirlwind of attention um, and be so fascinated with our situation. Yeah. This is our family, by the way. This is Tuna. In my yeah, lap. Yes, and this is my manly little boy, Bizarre. Oh, good to meet the family. <laughs> um, guys, Doug, to you first, <laughs> what do you say to your critics, to people who uh, don't think you guys should be married? Who don't think we should be married? We think, we, we would say to our critics that um, love is very difficult to find in this world, and if you're lucky enough to find it the way we have, than Godspeed and we and feel... And embrace it. No matter what the world has to say, no matter what others think, embrace it, be happy, and live your life. Embrace it fearlessly because we don't know whether we're going to be here tomorrow. So we're exactly. diving in today. And 51 plus 16 equals love. Oh. In our world. That's a, Sexy, love. Love. <laughs> Sexy love. Sexy uh, love. Tell us about these reality show rumors. I mean, these days, nothing would surprise me. Are you doing a reality TV show or not? We're being seduced by, uh, we've been seduced by a lot of uh, producers uh, wanting to do a reality TV show. And we're in negotiations right now with a very prominent producer. And we're talking about the possibility of uh, taking it to network. So yes, we indeed. We are, yes. And we have paired up with an amazing production team. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a, a reality show like no other. I'm just going to give you that little teaser right now. It's going to oh, be a reality wow. show. We're like, looking, like, we're looking like forward. Out of this world. Like, a teaser like for you have never, like you have, Like you have never seen before. <laughs> well, Courtney, can I ask you, what, what was it about Doug that, that really grabbed you? How did you know that Doug was the one for you? Because of his face, of his body, Whoa. of his sexy hair. Oh my I mean, goodness. Talk about seducing. He seduced me immediately. And I knew off the bat that he was the one for me, and that was it. You know, and when you find that Can one man um, that you know you it? love, and you know you love everything about him his face, his body, his hair, go for it. Can uh, you, see me? It? Can you see me Vice blushing versa crimson for you, Doug? through the lens over, <laughs> all the way across the cut, all the way across? Yeah, we can, Doug. <laughs> what yeah, did Doug you ask? Well, vice versa, what attracted you to Courtney? I mean, she's so young. She's still got all of her life in front of her, Doug. Yes. I have a lot in front of me, yes. I think that's what seduced him. <laughs> <laughs> she's so bad. <laughs> uh, well said. I love... I, I <laughs> say no more. Um, I love Courtney. Uh, I love her heart. I love her spirit. I love her sense of humor, obviously. And um, she is just um, she's she <laughs> she is very Thank funny. You. Um, she she has added a light to my life that um, no other has, and so I feel extremely blessed to have found her. You two are classic, Courtney. You're. Your mum actually Thank had to you. sign off on the, on the wedding papers. Um, how involved has she been in the marriage, and, and was she cool with that? Yes, she was. Um, she was monitoring the whole relationship from the start, and, um, you know, she knew that it was true love. She felt my love for him through me, um, you know, and she's just been so supportive um, on every level of our relationship, every aspect. She's, she's a beautiful mother. And, um, you know, I'm so blessed to have a mother like her and, and a I'm beautiful family. I'm blessed to have a mother-in-law like her as well. We have a beautiful family, very supportive, very loving. And um, like Courtney said, Krista has been supportive 
of us throughout the beginning. And she's probably and roughly she's your age, age Doug, been, is she? Yes, she's um, She's a just, little older. Just a tiny little like bit older. like two weeks older than you? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Like that a, couple, like that. Yeah, a couple months. Oh, Courtney, we can't <laughs> let you go without... Uh, you were making headlines for channeling uh, Pamela Anderson. Oh, I can certainly see the similarities when, you, when I look at you. I mean, what, what was it last week that you were channeling Pamela Anderson? Um, well, one of the reasons is because um, I, you know, that, that was actually a part of one of my modeling projects. I love taking on iconic women, um, you know, throughout the uh, industry and um, bringing them back and actually showing people that I admire them. I admire their success, their hard work, and uh, for, what, for one of the reasons, you know, one of the main reasons why I uh, decided to uh, do a rendition of, of Baywatch is because Pamela Anderson, you know, uh, women have treated her a certain way, uh, you know, classified way, and they, which they also treat me uh, that way in, in a lot of cases. And so I really admire that she holds her head up high no matter what people dish at her, and she always keeps a sense of humor about that. Yeah. So I really mm -hmm. admire that um, about her. And it's not um, just Pam either. I mean, Courtney, you know, really embodies um, the classic, iconic figure of the past, the, the Marilyn Monroe, old Rose, Hollywood, very classy, um, Sharon Tate's, and um, the Pamela Anderson. Yeah. And the world should not forget beautiful women like that. They have made go. a beautiful and impact on the world, mm -hmm. on the it, yes, well, you know, on, hey, Doug in and the Courtney, industry. We, we've got to go, but it, it, look, it's been great to talk to you this morning and a lot of fun. And we wish you all the best. And the fact that you make each other Thank happy you. is don't, just don't brilliant. Put it, so don't enjoy. put it on. Don't don't. Don't put it on me, Courtney's song. It's available on iTunes. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it. We're going to do Go that. Go get that, baby. Yep. We'll do that today. <laughs> so, Courtney's song, what, don't put it on me. It's called... It's called Don't Put Don't It On put Me, on me. And you know what? It's Beautiful. actually my life story to the T. So go listen to it. I think you'll get the picture. Right. right. <laughs> we'll check it out and we'll come back to you with a review. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good to talk oh, to you. Thank you. Thank See you later. for having us, guys. Thank you, Australia. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.